in this video I'm gonna show you like pretty much the uh, movie title card intro like that you probably saw in the, in the intro of, the, of this video so this is a spider-man edit and so we're built up to the beat drop so the way I do it is, um, I'll switch up like spider-man so this is the Tobey Maguire one so Tobey Maguire I don't know, that's how you spell it and then once you're here you want to find which one you like so um all right right here this one this one's perfect so you see already has the transparent thing sort of so pretty much what I'm gonna do just download it so once you have it downloaded you can open it up right here boom you just import it super easy this is the title card now if you want to go above and beyond you can also add like to this you can sort of add like your name so you could say buy rumbux so for example me so pretty much what we're gonna do we could do sam raimi spider-man font and then right here and we could uh pretty much get this font and then write in our name buy buy rumbux like right here at the bottom right i could do buy rumbux and if you see it it's sort of like it has like a darker shade above but it's like white at the bottom so that's what we're gonna do whenever we do buy run books. So I'll show you how to do that as well. So first we're gonna download this. Um, it's pretty easy to download once you have it here. Just extract it. Or no, you don't even have to extract it. You just install and it will be on your computer. Now you just have to search it up. Let's buy run books. So then I'll probably make this one smaller. Just scale it down. Maybe scale this one up too. It's a lot nicer. I don't really want it to be like super big. I just want it there. So, you know, it's sort of like watermark. And then I said I was going to add the gradient. So this one, it can be really easy. You could just go to blending mode. No, there's house, sorry. And then gradient overlay. And look, it's already, it's literally already done pretty much. You could like sort of do it less. So gradient overlay, opacity right here. So that's about like perfect for me. And that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, let me drag this a little bit more. All right, now what we're gonna do, click T for the opacity, and then you're gonna go all the way. I mean, there's not like a specific amount of like seconds, just however many you want, you know? So whatever, it looks nice. And then easy, ease it, highlight them, press F9. So you see how it fades in? Um, I want to fit in a little bit more. Alright, that's perfect for me. Now what I'm going to do, do that. And now once we have this, you pre-comp them, you're going to add a deep glow. So main, once you add your deep glow, this is mine, that's in my pay hit. As you can see, that's how it looks like once I add mine. I'm also going to add this thing called a card wipe. So I'll give you my settings for it, just cause I'm not gonna gatekeep. And pretty much, it's not the hard way. I need to remove the opacity. So you see how this is like messing up? I made it so it wouldn't be like that. So the only thing I made, let me see what happens when I do that, no. So I made it to the pre comp, which is the first layer. I just moved it to that and now look how it, there's like a little like, I don't know if you guys see that, it's like, I don't know, it just looks nicer, I feel like. For the card wipe, you start it at 50, and then you're gonna move it all the way down to zero. And copy all this if you need it. Then I like to scale it up. So, I'll scale it up at 15. And then once it's close to the ending, I'll switch up raise, S underscore raise, sapphire raise. Then what I would do here is, because the brightness being at three, I move the brightness to zero, then I move this to like two. Raise length, move this to about, mm -hmm. put that at one. So where does this start? Raise starts here. I may already have this at like 0.75, no. One. And then I'll be at like two right here. And I'll have my raise length it'd be from zero this is just how i do it it might be a lot easier but you know how i do it and then i'll move that to that. 
So I have 1.5 or 1. one. So you see a little like ray thing, as you can see. I move it to full. You see, it looks very cool. It starts at zero, zero for the brightness. And then at, on the last frame, you want to click O. Last frame, you're going to move the length to one for raise length and then the raise brightness to two. You could make it look more dramatic here. So imagine this is just at 106 and then they'll like zoom in a lot more. Or, see? You could even make this like 123 if you really want. That's, you're making it zoom in a lot right there. And, but it looks really nice. So if you want to do that, you could definitely do it. And then you usually just want to have a flash. Flash is always going to be on top. Everything, every white solid should usually be on top. And then you just cut it. It's pretty simple. So that was all for the video. Um, if you liked it and you think it was helpful, please let me know. Make sure you drop comments on what you guys want to know more of. So like for text, if you guys need help with text or whatever, I can do that and I'll make a video on it. So yeah.